bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. <laughs> Hello again. And welcome to French Whores Beer Reviews. I just moved the whole background. Sorry about that. I'm Scott. And I'm Jeff. <clears throat> Mrs. Freeze has got a bottle of beer from Dogfish Head. Where's Dogfish Head? Uh, Milton, Delaware. Yeah, you're right. I think. Right. This is Wood Aged Bitches Brew. Bitches Brew? Yeah, excuse our language. So rude. It's a stout brewed with honey. 9% alcohol. Uh, expecting some notes of vanilla in the scent. Chocolate and coffee tasting. And licorice. Uh, let's see if I can remember anything here. It is named, <laughs> the original Bitches Brew is named after the Miles Davis album that came out in 1970. Wow. And Very knowledgeable. this is part of their, I guess it came out originally as their 40th, 40th anniversary release date of that album. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> what else we got on this? It's a 12-ounce bottle of beer. It's brown. Yeah. Um, oak and Palo, which I think is a wood. African wood. Yeah, they had another one. Uh, uh, Palo Alto beer, which I really liked. I think it was a brown ale. Okay. Um, kind of expensive. But, mm -hmm. uh, just had real different... Flavors from that would awesome. But, uh, subscribe down like. below. We like that. Yes. Yeah. And like all our stuff. Right. Totally right. tired. Let's. Uh, looks like a root beer. Yeah. It's not as dark as like a Coca Cola. It's got kind of a root beer thing going on here, and it's got um, Come on. a caramelish head. Yeah. Say. Yeah. It's aged over oak and pal or pal palo. Oh, Tej. Did you talk Te about Tej? No, Tej is the <laughs> native African mead, essentially, is what it comes out to be. It's a honey bear. Yes, for those of you. Who and that is in this as well. All right. I'm getting over cold, so today is the first day I've felt good, like I can smell things again, so here we go. Good Thank luck. You. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. That has a lot going on. Yeah, it does. Honey, I can get... Uh, what else are they saying? Vanilla and licorice? Not so much licorice, I hope. I really don't like licorice. Honey no. and chocolate. Yeah. It smells like the wings my mom makes in the crock pot that have molasses in them and brown sugar and... Yeah. I don't know. Tej? Tej wing? Sure. <laughs> so that's what it smells like. Let's see what it tastes like. Tej. Tej to you. <laughs> It's a sipper for sure. Ooh. <clears throat> Low carbonation. Mm -hmm. I get a little licorice in the palate. I hate licorice and I'm not getting it, which I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I with. hate licorice and I'm getting it. Um, it's but coffee, pretty dark, smooth. I expected this to be aggressive, like yeah, nine percent uh, alcohol. Yeah, it can be. the alcohol is hidden pretty well. Oh, God damn it. I'm sorry, Mr. Freeze. Man down. You right, bud? Not my favorite. I'm not getting the vanilla. I like vanilla in beers, too, and I'm not getting much vanilla, but... Well, that was more of a smell. Okay. The chocolate and coffee was more of a... Yeah, that's, that's taste. That's pretty. I'm not tasting honey, are you? I don't know. I don't... I'm not a huge fan of this one. I kind of like this. Good, you can finish mine. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, suppose if I had something to eat with it, it'd be all right. I like this, but it's the honey that's throwing me off. I think. You know, I I feel like the when I'm drinking it, the flavors are really intense, and but then they kind of fade out. They're not lingering in my mouth right now, and like you know, it's. Uh, I like it. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I like it too. And I'm surprised. It's probably not terrible, but it's not my thing. And I'm surprised I like it. Too much honey going on, and I don't know if it's licorice or the coffee that's fucking with me. Honey definitely is a little bit. Uh, Dogfish just had a merger with uh, Boston Beer Company, which we know as Sam Adams. Um, Kind of what I read was it was a way for the dogfish owner to pay off some loans he had and kind of be his exit strategy to leave the business with not owing stuff and actually, you know, making some money Money. off the stocks he got from Sam Adams. Sam Adams improved because they're now larger, uh, more power distributing, and, uh, you know, they're supposed to still keep the brewery separate. You know, you'll still get your 60-minute IPA and 90-minute and all that. Hmm. uh, um, That's interesting. I didn't know that. I've been away. I read a few articles on that. Uh, 30... $300 Three hundred million dollar merger, <laughs> not thirty three hundred. Yeah. So, ah, uh, what do you have for a score on this bitch's brew <clears throat> from Dogfish Head? My personal score, and I want to highlight that because I don't really like it that much. Yeah, it's what 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 do you like? Three point six. <clears throat> All right, that's much higher than I thought you were going to give it. I thought you were going to be somewhere like a... I know it's a good... Like a three, two probably overall is a pretty good beer. I just... I can't like it because I don't like... I really don't like it. Yeah, I'm... I'm liking it more as I drink it. Oh, like a... Four, three... This is a... Pretty, pretty cool beer for me right now. I'm liking it. I'm going to... I'm going to enjoy yours when this video is over. That is fine. Um, I'm going to do my quick math here. Uh, seven, nine is, a something. What you got? 7.9 <clears throat> divided by two. 3.95. All right. We're a little high. I am not high right now. I just want everyone to know. 3.95. Our score is a little high. Okay. But, all right. 29,000 other people. Jeez. 3.83. Wow. Yeah, see, we're right there. I was on it. 175, Tom M. gave it. I don't know who he is. An hour ago. An hour ago? Yeah. 175. Yeah. Tom, this, you might not like these kind of beers, but that score is just, that's really almost that's insulting. But we all have different palates. So, you know, take our reviews with a grain of salt and... Try to listen to how we describe it, and maybe not our scores that much. Right. You know? Like, we try to be accurate in our description, even though we dislike something. Yeah. And we we try, or at least I try, to review a beer for what the style is, and how close it comes to that style. This is kind of out there, because it's a... Yeah, but it's... I would, it's a honey it passes, style, yeah. but it, it's kind of is what it says it is. Yeah. And, uh... Dogfish Head goes out on a limb with a lot of these beers, and some of them, like, they just don't work for me, and I, there are a lot that I really do enjoy, too, but they're always coming with, they're always pushing the limits of what ingredients and, um, you know, looking for, from different areas of the world, and it's kind of neat, so mm-hmm. hopefully they keep doing that stuff with this merger, I hope that doesn't change that, so we'll see, that's all I got for this one, have a great night, see you next time. I don't, want, uh, I don't know what, 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 what show is this. <laughs> yeah, let's just call it the FHBR. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna. Well, I'm gonna try to work that in FHBR because mm-hmm. our, our name is. I don't know long. if I can get all those letters straight. Yeah, we'll work on it. French Oars Bay Reviews. <laughs> Check us out. I have to memorize them. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall. Hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hawks.